All right, folks, so I'm really excited to have the opportunity to shoot this video. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the S1R baton. That's the rechargeable S1 uh, flashlight by Olight, as well as the S2R baton. Now, this S1R is the new version, the Turbo S, which is an upgrade from the S1R that was just recently released by Olight. Uh, they heard some user feedback and quickly adapted to that and released a new version, which is great news. So anyhow, what we're going to do is we're going to open these up. We're going to take a look at them. We're going to take them outside and do some beam shots. But before we do that, I want you to go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. All right, so hopefully everybody made it back. Before we open these up and take a look at how they ship, one thing I wanted to cover is, is that Olight contacted me and they asked me if I would like to review these flashlights. And I love Olight flashlights. I think they've done an incredible job over the last couple of years becoming an industry leader in the flashlight space. And so I said, of course, yeah, send them on over. I'd love to do a video on them. So getting that out of the way, let's go ahead and open these up and see how they ship. Okay, so here we have both the flashlights taken out of their packaging, and I'm showing what each of these flashlights ship with. So the first thing you can see is that they ship with the flashlights. They also ship with this, it's like felt carrying case, and that's so you can carry the uh, charging station that plugs in via standard USB, and then you just take your flashlight, which has a magnetic tail clip, and then you just go ahead and you clip it on like that. Plug this in, and we'll do that later, and you can actually see these flashlights charging. The other thing is, is both flashlights ship with a user manual, but here at the Smoke and Ape channel, we do not advocate reading a user manual. Lastly, both flashlights ship with an adjustable lanyard. Let's go ahead and focus in on this so you can see. And you just push this button, and then you can adjust the lanyard accordingly. And each lanyard comes with a pin, and you use this pin to actually thread through that small lanyard hole right there. One last thing is, is that when you get these flashlights, you want to take your tail cap off and note that your battery is pointing backwards and you want to take this plastic out. Once you do that and you reassemble your flashlight, it should go ahead and turn on for you. Just like that. Okay, folks, what I wanted to do is run through the modes real quick. So with either one of these flashlights, a long press and hold will take you to moonlight mode, just like that. And then a quick press will turn it off. If you want to go to your high or turbo, just a quick double tap, and you can turn it off. And then a triple tap, oops, I messed up. A triple tap will take you to your strobe mode. Now once you hit the button once, it goes on to the last mode that you left the flashlight on, so it has memory. And then you just press and hold, so, so uh, I can't talk today. Pressing and holding will cycle through all of your modes. Both flashlights work the same way. Alright folks, take a look at the back of the packaging. You can see the different product specifications. This one is for the S2R. This is for the S1R Turbo. So what we have here, turbo on the S2R, starts off at 1,020 lumens and will drop down to 500 lumens after 2 minutes. At 500 lumens, it will run for another 190 minutes. On high mode, you get 500 lumens and 200 minutes. Medium, 120 lumens for 13 hours. Low, 12 lumens for 120 hours. And moon mode, which is pretty low, half a lumen for 60 days. Impact resistant up to a meter and a half. It's waterproof IPX8, which means it can be submerged for up to 30 minutes in two meters of water. And the candela on this is 5,800 CD. It'll be interesting to go outside and see if these are more of a floody light or more of a beam light. I'm going to suspect it's more of a beam. And then we have some metrics over here around the size and length. I'm not going to run through that. <clears throat> Taking a look at the smaller one, which is the S1R Turbo. There's some additional modes that have been added since the first release of the flashlight. Here you have turbo at 900 lumens for a minute and a half, and then it will drop down to 50 minutes. Turbo mode starts off at 600 lumens and drops down to 300 after a minute and a half, and then you get 55 minutes at 300. 
Your high mode, which is probably the most useful, is going to be 300 lumens for 60 minutes. The medium mode, there's an argument to be made there that that's the most useful. 60 lumens for 4.5 hours. Low 12 lumens for 33 hours. And again, a really low moon mode at 0.5 lumens, and that would get you 15 days. The waterproof and impact resistance is similar. Actually, so is the Candela as the other flashlight. The only difference is really the size and then the battery that the flashlight takes. I did want to mention that each one of these flashlights ship with their own Olight branded lithium ion rechargeable battery. Here we have a 3.6 volt 3200 milliamp hour 18650 and then here we have a 3.7 volt 550 milliamp hour RCR123A. Both of these are great batteries. I'm a big fan of Olight batteries. They're not overly priced. Uh, they're very durable, and then when I use these batteries in capacity tests, they always test pretty true to their recommended storage capacity. All right, folks, I wanted to show how we charge these flashlights. So here I just have a power add uh, surge protector that has a USB charging ports on it. So you just go ahead and plug in, and you see that this, is gr this light is green. When I go ahead and add the flashlight, it turns red to indicate that the flashlight is charging. And I do the exact same thing with the other flashlight. Now this is charging. Now this charger has a built-in smart charger, which will stop charging once the flashlight is fully charged. Pretty handy setup that doesn't require you to have a separate device and to take your flashlight's batteries in and out of the flashlights in order to charge. All right, folks, so here we are outside. <clears throat> I have a map here. We're going to take a look at using these flashlights to read a map. So let's just say you got lost in Michigan. A long press will take you to your moonlight mode. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on the camera. But this actually is pretty good for reading the map. It doesn't flood it out and you can actually read it pretty well. It's a little bit bright out here tonight. There's no clouds and we have about a half of a moon. So that takes me to turbo. And if I hold this, oh, I'm sorry, there we go. If I hold this button, it takes me through all the various modes. We're off. So here we are in the low mode. And this one actually looks like it might be a little bit better for reading the map. I know through the camera that it floods it out pretty good. But this is the option I would likely take. And if I cycle through the modes, it just keeps getting brighter and it keeps flooding it out more and more. Let's get some long distance beam shots. That was the S2R. Let's just do a quick shot of the map with the S1R. And there we are in the moonlight mode. And it works equally as well as I would expect them to. Okay, so here we are pointing down the driveway. We're going to start off with the S1R Turbo, and then we're going to cycle through the various modes. First one, I'm going to do a long press. I'm going to get Moonlight Mode. <clears throat> you can barely see that in the camera, and I can barely see that in real life, so I don't think it's a very good option for walking around. So here we are at the low mode. This looks like it would be okay if you were walking around a familiar area like your yard, but I think I would want to cycle up. There we go. Let's go ahead and do the double tap to turbo. So I want to do this. You can see that I can illuminate, illuminate the street down there pretty well. And I can actually light up to the neighbor's house. I don't want to shine it in their windows and get them upset at me. But it's actually really bright and it looks like it would be really handy for any kind of night or outdoor activity that you were trying to do. Okay, let's do some beam shots with the S2R. Again, a long press is going to take me to moonlight mode. You can see it right there. But at a half a lumen, it doesn't do me a whole lot of good. So I'm going to turn the flashlight off, and then I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on. Now I'm going to cycle through the modes. You really can't see that at low, but that's probably good enough to walk around. And then as we cycle up, it gets brighter and brighter. Let me quit do a quick double tap. That takes me to turbo, and, the, and the, the range on this is pretty good. As I mentioned inside, I suspected this flashlight would be more floody than throwy but it looks like i'm easily lighting up my neighbor's house right now and that house is probably about 75 yards away um, i can see everything on this front porch so i'm not going to do that because i don't want to get anybody upset at me but uh, both of these appear to be really good really handy edc lights i'm really pleased with them olight did a great job all right folks so we're back from our beam shot test and as you can see from the beam shots these are both very capable flashlights that have a pretty wide range from a half a lumen uh, moonlight mode <clears throat> all the way up to a really high turbo mode. I don't think you could go wrong with either one of these flashlights. The rechargeable base makes them super handy and the form factor on these is pretty good in my opinion. Some of the feedback that I've gotten around these Olight flashlights, the Baton series, 
because people have trouble finding this button. Let's go ahead and zoom in on it. What I like to do is I like to take the pocket clip and put it 180 degrees on the other side, and that allows me to index to find the button. I actually really like this one, and I think this is going to end up being my new EDC flashlight. Very impressed with it, and I love the 18650 battery. Anyhow, that's it, folks. Thanks for watching.